this is the diorama, and the diorama basically is an image that you put on the top part, and then on the bottom part has some writing that you've done. And my diorama's here, it's a little bent up, they got a little bent up, but you can still get an idea of what it's to look like. And so, basically how you assemble it is you just print it out, when you print it out, the template itself gives you directions, so you would have deleted this box and inserted the image, you would have triple clicked here, and you would start typing. Here is a little area to cite the source of where the picture is from. And then you would go with a pair of scissors and you would just cut along the solid line on the outer part. So I'd be left with this. Then what I'd do is I would cut right here along that dotted line and then I would also cut along this dotted line right there. I would fold them, fold here, fold here, just fold along all the solid lines here as well, here, and then I'd just fold right here in half. I'd put a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here, and then I would glue that. And like that, and now I have my diorama. And a really good example, um, the examples that I have here, I've done where the student had put a picture, and then the student had to describe what these people were wearing. Another example was a picture of their family, and then they had to explain about their family, their personality, how they looked. And this is a great example for a Spanish um, class. If you're just kind of wanting to do a very simple altar, um, you could have them put a picture of someone and then put just clip art or pictures of typical things that would be found on a ofrenda. And then down here they would write a sentence. In this case, um, this would be more for a level 2 class. So this was where they had to include five sentences that described the person being honored, and they had to use the imperfect tense for this.